All right. Thank you, Tehila, for playing Hi. that song for us. Welcome, Nathan, and everybody else. I think it's a good song. The God who moves the mountains. Sometimes the problems in our lives, the worries, the difficulties yes, can feel like mountains. and We cannot do anything about them, but God, our God can move the mountains. Nothing is impossible for our God. Today's lesson is actually is part of yesterday's lesson. Whatever we talked about yesterday, today is connected to that. Remember when Nathan, not our Nathan, but Prophet Nathan told David that he would not build a temple for God, but his son would. David went to the, he went, he went to pray and he said, Who am I, O sovereign Lord, that you have brought me to this place? How great you are. There is none like you. Your words are trustworthy and true. Now be pleased to bless this house and your servant will be blessed forever. He thanked God for choosing him and his family and his lineage and his children to be blessed. I mean, it's, it's an honor to be able to build a temple to God. And that's, that's what he's saying. He says, thank you that you chose me and my son who would build a temple. And also there was a promise that from the offspring of David. Offspring means a descendant. His children's child, right? In the future, there would be a king. His kingdom will endure forever. That's what God promised to David. And that's why he went and thanked God and called him king of kings. He called him his king. Even though David himself was king, he called God his king. Uh, let's look at this. Let's look at David's prayer. Who would like to read? Somebody who didn't read yet in the past. Um, Shaheri, great. We have Shaheri. Shaheri never volunteered in the past. Can you read the first part, David's prayer? This part, please, Shaheri. Yes, yeah, so David's prayer. After Nathan told David that the Lord wanted one of his sons to build a temple, David was very happy. He went to the tent of the Lord and prayed. David said to the Lord, I am not worthy of what you have done for me. Now you are doing even more by making this promise about my son. You have done these things to teach me how great you are. Sovereign. Sovereign. Yes, sovereign. Like this word is sovereign. Continue. There is none like you. And now, sovereign Lord, do what you have promised. That's right. That was David's prayer. Now the question is, how? Can a king have a king? Can a king have a king? I mean, David was a king and he called God 
his king. Let's read about that. Uh, I'll just divide it into two equal parts. We're going to have this part first. Who would like to read it? Atara or Hitash? Which one of you? Hitash. Okay, read the first part. Is there anyone greater than a king? Would you dare to go tell a king that he is actually not the greatest? Probably he would would not be would not be very happy to find out that he is not the greatest after all. David realized that there is someone much greater. Even though he was the king of a great nation, he knew that God had put him there and that God could replace him. David learned that joy and peace from, from, come from knowing all there is someone higher and more powerful than him. Yeah, joy and peace come from knowing that there is someone higher and more powerful than him. He knew that. He learned that. Of course, he's talking about God over there. Uh, Nathan, is that you? Who raised the hand? Joanna. Joanna, Joanna, would you like to read? Yes. Let's read this second part. Read, please. The joy he had lived was a shepherd felt as, as a, a shepherd. shepherd. Yes was still in his heart and even now that he was king he still re realized relied on god relied on god david said listen to my cry for, of help for help my king and my god for to you i pray psalms 5 verse 2 when David was a shepherd, he thought like a shepherd and pray, prayed to God was being his shepherd, as being his shepherd. Psalm 20, 23. Now that David was a king, he thought like a king and spoke to God as his so sovereign Lord. Sovereign. Lord. Verse 27, by calling God sovereign, he was saying that God is his king. And because David himself was a king, it makes God the king of kings. That's right. And let's read the verse for today together. Ready, everybody? Go. On his robe. On his robe and, and on, on his, his thigh, thigh he has, he has his, his name written, name written King of Kings and, and Lord of, of Lords. Lord. Lord. Revelation 1916. That's right. King of Kings and Lord of Lords. That's who our God is. He's the King of Kings. Nobody's higher than he is. Nobody's above him. He is the greatest. He's the most powerful one. He can move the mountains. He can move the mountain if you have a mountain in your life that is not moving, trust God. He's the one who can move the mountains. Okay? Yeah. Can we pray together? We have a couple of prayer requests for Temika's mother. Let's pray for Nishia's eyes, for her eyesight. Any, anyone else has prayer requests? No? No other yes, prayer requests? Yes? What is it? For my younger brother. You have a younger brother? Yeah. I a mean, cousin. he's elder than me. He's elder than me. So your older brother? Yeah. Okay. Well, what shall we pray for? Is he sick? Does he have exams? What is it? No. He's gonna be a um, he's gonna be a father. I mean in the church. See what? He's gonna be a father in the church. So he's studying right now. Yes. Okay. What do you want for us that. to pray for? For his exams, for his studies? 
I uh, yes to give him strength. Mm -hmm. To study hard. Yes. Okay. Let's pray for Gayanus, older brother who is studying right now, so he can study hard. Yes. Gayana. To work for Jesus. To work, work for Jesus at church. Yeah. So he, since he's he's gonna be working at church once he finishes his studies. Sounds good. Anybody else has any prayer requests? No? Yes? You have one minute left, 10 seconds. If you don't speak now, you'll have to be forever silent. Five, four, three, two. Let's pray. Let's pray for these three prayer requests for Demica's mother. Let's pray for uh, Nishia's eyesight and for Guyana's brother, who's going to be working at a church, okay, after he finishes his studies. Let's pray for these three people, okay? And then who would like to finish at the end? Who would like to um, say a prayer at the very end? Atara, Atara always volunteers. Thank you, Atara. Or is it Joanna? Atara, At Joanna prayed earlier today at school. Atara, pray for us, okay? We'll pray together for about um, 30 seconds. Everybody pray, and then Atara will pray. Atara, you can pray for us now. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the day you have given us. Help us to be faithful and help us to learn your word. And remember that you are the King of Kings. Protect us, don't let anything happen to us. Perfect us when we are going to Mara to school and coming and when we are going to sleep. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Atara. All right, let's go to bed. It's nine o'clock exactly. Who would like to select a worship song for tomorrow's meeting? Me. 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 I think I think uh, Atara and Hitash, you choose one, okay? You didn't. Uh, tomorrow, Atara and Hitash, select one together. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Bye.